Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see right here, I am doing a clothing haul and I've never done a style of video like this before. So if you want me to continue doing these in the future, then definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my videos. But as you can see here, we are doing a haul. Everything is from Forever 21. I have a little bit of everything. We have accessories, boots, jackets, and some other clothing pieces here. I did some shopping during Cyber Monday. They had a really good sale. It was 30% off and then Ebates was an additional 20%. So I saved a good amount of money on most of this stuff and then there was a later sale for 30% off. So I did pick up a couple extra things during that time. Specifically these boots, I almost fell over. <laughs> I'm not used to standing up during my videos. What's going on? Specifically these boots right here, Favorite thing in the haul and I did save 30% on those. So I'm going to go from left to right and then I'm gonna go through the accessories at the end. If you wanna see all the clothes that I picked up, tried on, then just keep watching. The first thing I have right here is this jacket. I wanted a style of print like this for the winter and this is fairly heavy. I love the shape of this style of jacket. I think it looks really classic and clean. With this specific jacket, let me show you close up. It's not gray. It has brown and some red tones in it. I can move around. I could get used to this. I like that this wasn't just gray, like typical jackets like this I've seen going around. Because I do have a blazer that is more gray tone, but this has that warmth to it, which I really, really like. And I got it in a medium. All the clothes pieces here, I did get in a medium. I'm a true woman's medium for my size. This was $69.90 Canadian, but obviously I didn't pay full price for this. So I will try and link everything down below for you guys if I can find it still on Forever 21. You guys know how that site works. Sometimes things sell out pretty fast, but I just hit myself in the face. But this is the first thing I got. Absolutely love it and think it looks amazing and definitely will be getting a ton of use out of this jacket. The next piece is another jacket. I wanted one of these puffer jackets that was longer for the winter time. I really like this style because it's quite oversized and I know with some of my more fitted jackets like this, I can't wear thicker sweaters. I find that it can get kind of tight and constricted in a more fitted jacket like the one I showed previous, but this is nice if I wanna wear a bulkier type of sweater or hoodie. I can throw this on and it has a ton of room that I can get away with wearing those larger, more baggy pieces. This was another great find for me because oftentimes with these longer jackets, I find them quite tight around my hips. I do have wider hips, but this isn't tight at all in my lower region, which is really, really nice. If you have similar issues to me, this is definitely a great little piece to pick up. And it was also $69.90, but I did save some money on this as well. And it comes with a hood. This next piece is a turtleneck and I live in black turtlenecks over the fall and winter. And this one has a felt type material to it, which is super cozy. And it also is cropped, but not too cropped because I'm pretty much all body and no legs. <laughs> That's how my body shape is. So this isn't too cropped. It hits me just at the right spot when I wear high-waisted jeans. So I really, really like the cut of it. It's fairly boxy, but I don't lose too much shape. And the crop of it is perfect length for me. This one was $19.90, so definitely more affordable. It isn't the thickest material. I still like it nonetheless, and I definitely get a ton of use out of black turtlenecks. So if you're looking for a really nice cropped one that's not too cropped, it's a great find. This one's empty because I'm currently wearing it. As many of you know, I absolutely love Mario. I'm a big gamer for Nintendo, specifically Nintendo. I absolutely love Mario games, any Mario game. <laughs> so I saw they had this Mario line and I picked this up. It's actually men's, which I found most of the Nintendo pieces actually in the men's section. I think it fits really nice. I actually really like men's small in the Forever 21 section. I think it fits my body really nicely. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I always shop Forever 21 men. I do have a very long torso, so I just, I find the length is really good for me. So I got this. I just cut off the tag, but I will insert the price on the screen for you guys. And then I also purchased this from the men's section as well. It is a Super Nintendo shirt 
And I plan on wearing one of these tomorrow because I'm going over to my family's Christmas dinner. We're having a big Super Smash Brothers competition going on. So I'm bringing my Nintendo Switch, my brother's bringing his. We're all going to be battling and I want to win. So I bought one of these to wear. I think I'm gonna wear this one for that, not this. I want everyone to know that I'm serious. I'm very competitive but in a good way, like a happy competitive. I'm not a mean competitive because there's those people who can get kind of mean. <laughs> I got this in the men's section as well. And this they didn't have in a small, they had it only in a medium, but I picked it up anyways. It's a little bit oversized. I was considering wearing this just as a pajama top. So I really like this. I like how long it is. I like that the sleeves are bigger in men's because I don't like anything constricting on my arms. So this was another really great find for me. I'm having trouble finding my tags. Oh, there you are. And this was only $15.90. If you love Nintendo like me, they do have a line, though I found most of the stuff actually in the men's section that I personally like better. But I do have one piece that I will show you soon that is from Women's. Another men's shirt that I picked up, this was under $5 once all the discounts were applied. The regular price of this is $16.90 with the discounts because I believe this was in sale as well. I only paid probably $3 for this. I like buying white t-shirts fairly cheap because I tend to ruin them <laughs> the first time I wear it. So I don't like spending a lot of money on white t-shirts. And this one is a little bit on the sheer side. I like that this is a little bit different for a white t-shirt because it has this seam on the back. As you can see, it runs all the way down. So it's a little bit different compared to just a plain white tee. Just has that detailing, which I really like and I didn't pay a lot for it, but I did find it in the men's and I got a small in that. The next piece I picked up are a pair of Nintendo 64 jogging pants. These I just plan to wear as sleep pajamas. The original retail price is $29.90, but I did get these on sale as well. Those are what they look like. I have Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. We need some GameCube, Virtual Boy. I have every system but Virtual Boy. I used to go to Blockbuster to play the Virtual Boy. If anyone else went to Blockbuster just to play their Virtual Boy, I'd always play their tennis and then obviously rent a movie on a Friday night or whatever, but I go there and play their virtual boy. Big Nintendo lover here. Then the last article of clothing I have right here, I actually found in the sales section, and I wasn't sure how the material would be because I was considering wearing this for Christmas, but it's definitely a little too light for the cool climate here. The price of this is $60.90, but it was in the sales section. I got 30% plus 20%. I really didn't spend that much money. It was under $20, I believe, with everything discounted. And I just thought it was really pretty. This will be perfect for the spring. Really wide pants. It's not a dress, it's a jumper. And I always like this ruched material right here on the chest because that means I don't necessarily have to wear a bra with it because it always supports me nicely. And I just thought the sleeves were super cute. So this was another great find that I checked out in the sales section. So if it's still there, I will link it down below. I hope it is. It's a really, really nice piece from Forever 21. So happy that I snagged that. Now on to the box, my favorite. Thing. I wanted a pair of Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots for quite a long time, but those are I think around a thousand dollars. I don't want to spend that much money, especially since I'd be wearing these in the winter and I don't want snow to ruin such a expensive pair of boots, but these ones look very similar, obviously inspired by those. For shoes, I'm a seven and a half or eight, but in boots, I always get a size eight. This definitely has room that I can wear thicker socks with them, so they're not super tight. And even though they have that pointy toe to them, it's not constricting. So these honestly fit my feet so perfectly, so comfortable. They have a little bitty chunky heel right here. They're the type that you can cinch in around your thigh so that they don't fall down, which is perfect because nothing more annoying than pulling up your boots constantly. So these are inspired by those Stuart Weitzman one and they do have a taupe version, which I really wanna get as well. So if they're still in stock on Boxing Day, I'm gonna be picking those up. But definitely recommend these black ones. They go with everything and I can't wait to style these. These are definitely my favorite find from this haul. And these were $54.90 Canadian. Now you can go away. These are my next pair of boots. I've noticed that these kind of chunkier type boots are really in style. And they had these in black, which obviously 
I was drawn to, but they had them in white as well, which I don't have any kind of white shoe. And I thought they would look really nice in the winter, like an all white kind of outfit, maybe a white jacket with these or this paired with the jacket and a couple of the accessories I'm gonna show you I thought would look really cool with that black puffy jacket. Just really edgy. And these have a silver zip, have some tread on the bottom. And these were $39.90 Canadian. And they're super comfy, fit really nicely. We have a problem. I can't get out of my boot. <laughs> I'm stuck. Are you available to help me right now? Look what happened. It's a tricky situation, isn't it? So you just want your foot out? I want my foot out. We can't recommend these shoes. <laughs> no, not recommended. Is that enough to get my foot out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. During spring, I kept seeing people wear white mules like these and I saw them on Forever 21 and had them on my save list for quite some time. These are $29.90. I got the discount on them but I thought they would be perfect for spring. Just a pair of these with some light blue denim. I just think looks so clean and nice. Even though they have the pointed toe they fit my feet perfectly. So super happy to have picked them up for this coming spring because I'm definitely going to wear white with blue denim. I did get a lot of jewelry pieces and also this one belt bag. It's the modern day fanny pack and I've actually already worn this once. I wore it to my son's fifth birthday. We went bowling and I had some Kleenex in here, my camera, my phone, so I was able to like be right on it. <laughs> so it was really nice to be hands-free. I just think these are really handy and I just wanted a belt bag. I don't know, it took a while. Do I like this style? Do I not like this style? But Forever 21 is always nice because you can try out those trendier pieces without having to pay a fortune. So I really like this one because it has the black and gold detailing, which is pretty much all my stuff <laughs> is black and gold. I love the hardware on this. It's just classic, has a little zip, but you can fit a ton of stuff in here. Right now I have some jewelry I'm gonna show you at the end that I picked up. And then I got this pair of sunglasses. They remind me of Celine's. These are what they look like. I just love the style of Celine glasses and I will not purchase expensive sunglasses anymore because I always tend to break or lose them. So I really like this style. Picked up one of these pom-pom hats. It says on the tag this was $9.90, but at the time they were only charging $3, plus all the discounts that I got on it. I paid next to nothing for this hat, like less than $2. <laughs> I've been wanting to wear this hat, but I've been saving it for this haul, so I didn't take off the tags. But it's just a really inexpensive pom-pom pom hat. <laughs> Pom pom hat. And then I thought it would look good with these sunglasses, jacket, the white boots. What do you guys think? This is kind of what I was envisioning, right? Look good. Now for the jewelry pieces, I just want to show you guys close up. My ears would turn bright red if I did like a try on jewelry haul because my skin is so sensitive. I got some hoops with rhinestone detailing. This is a charm necklace that is actually stars on it. But I saw someone wear this and it didn't look like stars, it just looked shiny. And it looked really, really nice. So that's why I picked that up. I really like this threader style of earring and I wanted some hoops with crosses on them. So these are what they look like. I just like layering different lengths and styles of earrings. So I picked up those. Forever 21 is so good for their jewelry because again, I tend to lose earrings. <laughs> So I don't want to spend a lot on them. I made a few jewelry orders. I got a scrunchie pack with a red and a black. I got these cuffs and I already lost one in my car when I was taking this out of the package. It was a gold one and my husband and I both searched the car. We can't find it anywhere. But I will link that for you guys so you can check it out. And then I got this pack of studs. I was already wearing one of them obviously in my cartilage. So it's nice to have just a pack of studs. I already wore these in a video, the gold ones, but I got them in silver as well. They're threaders that have these cubes on the end. I love how these look. You would have seen that in my Sephora recommendations and wish list video. And then these ones are hexagon hoop earrings. I already wore those in a video too. 
and I love those. I've seen brands do these earrings for way more expensive. That's why I like Forever 21 because trendier little earrings like that, it's nice to just pick up cheaper, especially if you tend to lose things like me. It's just nicer to buy trends at Forever 21. So I hope you guys enjoyed this try on Forever 21 haul. I got a variety of stuff to share with you guys and I thought it'd be a perfect time to film a haul because I haven't filmed a clothing haul in quite some time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you like this setup and this style of video, please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like these types of videos and I'll definitely film more in the future. I kind of like being able to move. It's so different. I'm always confined to my seat. I'm having too much fun doing this. So I hope you guys like this video because I enjoyed filming it so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video.